as an island, Britain is a nation of coast lovers and you're never too far from the coast. Unfortunately, I live about as far as physically possible to live in the UK from the seaside. So I'm taking you with me on holiday to find some rock pools, some amazing critters inside the rock pools and to use some rather fancy equipment. So here we have some really cool animals. These are actually worms. They're segmented worms, which are like the earthworms that you get in your garden. And so they walk a little bit like millipedes, but they don't have true legs and they're in a completely different phyla to millipedes. Crabs are crustaceans and crustaceans is a subphylum within the overall phylum arthropoda. And the arthropods include the insects. So the crustaceans are pretty much just underwater insects. Our first species is an ever so slightly soft, edible crab. And I say slightly soft because one of the things about the crustacea is that they have these hard exoskeletons made up of chitin and sclerotin. And these protect them. They're very strong and very hard, but it makes it very difficult to grow. So all crustacea have to molt in order to grow. They do this by shedding their old skin and then pumping their body full with water. And this is a really cheap way of growing very big without having to spend all that energy on proteins. The next species of crab is the shore crab, our most common species of crab, and this is much smaller and much more agile. Female crabs can only mate when they're soft straight after they've been molted, so you might often see one big male shore crab standing on top of a female while she's soft to protect her. These are hermit crabs, so these use external shells as well as their own exoskeleton to protect them. Small shells are actually quite a scarce resource in rock pools, so we've seen these in the bucket fighting over each other to make sure that they've got the right size shell for their size. Here we found a brittle star, which is a member of the starfish family, the echinoderms. And the echinoderms meaning spiny skin, and sea urchins are a member of this family as well. And you can do a bit of animal origami where if you take a starfish with its five legs and then peel its legs up so they all join up in the middle and you can see the underside of their legs, then you'll essentially get the anatomy of a sea urchin. If you want to know more facts about starfish, I have made a song about them, which you can click here to see. And then we've got various fish in here as well. And the most common fish that we've seen is the blenny. There's the common blenny and there's the common goby. We haven't found any gobies, unfortunately. We have found, however, a really cool viviparous blenny, which is long and thin like an eel. And viviparous means that it gives birth to live young, which is very unusual for blennies. And then finally, we've also found some prawns and some shrimps. So what is the difference between a prawn and a shrimp? Well, there's no real scientific difference. Same as I mentioned in my other video on frogs and toads, we have in Britain the common prawn and the common shrimp. In the UK, if it's big and it's commercially used for eating, it's a prawn. And our prawns tend to have the longer tentacles. These are the most common clear ones that you'll see. And the rest of the world, if it's big, if it's commercial, it's a prawn. In America, it's the other way around. If it's commercial, it's a shrimp. But that's the Americans for you, messing things up. So whilst rock falling in itself is always a fun thing to do, the main reason I'm here is because of this. This is a hydrophone or an underwater microphone and a friend of a friend lent it to me and I couldn't pass up the opportunity to go rock falling and listen to the sounds of the animals in the rock pools. So let's try it out.
So as you can see, the tide is coming in and that means that it's going to be the end of our day of rock pooling. But we've got some pretty good results. You managed to hear the prawns, they're feeding on it. And we even got to see two hermit crabs fighting it out. So remember, if you are going to go rock pooling yourself, take friends with you, share the fun and keep safe. Keep an eye on the tides because they do come in fast and be sure to return all of your little animals and critters back where you found them. That's it from today at the beach. Keep smiling. <laughs>